Oh, hey, everyone. How you doing? It's Henry at Morris Blowers. Good morning. So, uh, today I'm actually selling my uh, snowplow bracket that uh, my friend Nick from Medford gave me, right? And uh, some guy wants it. Uh, I listed it yesterday for like 40 bucks, so we'll see what happens. On the other hand, you got uh, this magnetic uh, nail bolt sweeper, you know, for your garage. And uh, some guy wants to see that too. I have it listed for just $35. So if I can get uh, $40 out of here and then $30 out of there, just from stuff that, I mean, I could actually use the sweeper, but I mean, how often do I have a million screws? And actually pretty often, huh? <laughs> but anyway, um, it's it, it's taken up a lot. I've got too much stuff in my garage. You know what I mean? Um, today I'm going to be trying my new magnet frame for my GoPro. I've never had a magnet frame before. You know what I mean? Um, also, I was going to get started on the tractor today, but then my uh, neighbor from across the street, you guys know him, Andy the Brit. So he's had this, uh, he, he has landscapers, but he has OCD, so he likes to still mow his lawn when it doesn't look absolutely perfect to him, right? So he's got a lawnmower, self-propelled craftsman with a bag and all that stuff, and he's had it for quite a while. It's old. And uh, recently, um, his spark plug boot is loose. Um, the cable to his self-propulsion might have broken because it self-propelled doesn't work anymore. And uh, the pull rope is about to go so he went out and bought a new mower. He gave me his old one. But today, we're gonna do an unboxing and setup of his brand new mower. I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet because I have to go to the church now to sell this stuff. But I'll be right back after we sell that stuff. I'm gonna try the magnetic uh, GoPro frame and we're gonna check out his old mower and his new mower. So this is Andy the Brit's um, mower he's throwing out. He says he wants to give it to me and do whatever the hell I want with it. And I says, are you sure? Are you sure you don't want to start up your new one first to make sure everything's good uh, before you give this to me? He's like, I'm just going to throw it out on the curb if you don't want it. I says, oh, whoa, 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 chill, calm down, man. Yeah, I'll take it. Just want to make sure that everything is copacetic over there before you throw it out. You know what I mean? Anyway, so he says that the uh, self-propulsion doesn't engage anymore. But I feel it, and it clicks. This is the kind where, you know, you let go halfway and it disengages without shutting off the engine. If you want to shut off the engine, just let go. You know what I mean? Uh, but it feels okay, but yet it doesn't work. So maybe the belt came off or the belt broke. He said also the pull handle is on his last leg. And as you can see there, it is almost on its last leg. So it doesn't look like it would take too much to get this going. He also said that he had to crimp this thing to make it stick better. He did a fine job. Usually we have to look under here it's got that uh, belt cover and perhaps the belt came off the pulley or something, you know. We'll figure that out later. But uh, let me go to the church now and uh, sell my crap. Then I'll come back here. We're going to do an unboxing of his new lawnmower. Just preliminarily, what do you guys think he got? It's a 2020 model, so I'm very excited about doing a brand new mower uh, unboxing and setup. So I've got you on my magnetic uh, GoPro holder and uh, I want you guys to be able to see the transaction. So let's just see where I can mount this thing without being too suspicious. Of Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna stick myself right here. Hey, <laughs> cool. All right, looks like that'll work. I'll just put this here on time-lapse. So 
I sold the uh, uh, plow bracket to this nice guy. Um, as soon as I pull up to the guy, right, our, our cars are right next to each other. And uh, the minute I get out, right, he says, hey, are you the YouTube guy? And I says, yeah, you, you've seen my videos? He's like, yeah, I just saw when you did the uh, deck adjustment button, whatever. I'm like, man, I think that's a Larry and Bobby. That's the first video that I actually met uh, Larry and Bobby doing the push button on the deck adjustment thing on an LT1000. Awesome. Uh, anyway, really nice guy. Uh, since he knew that I was a YouTuber, you know, I, I said, oh, do you mind being on camera? He's like, oh, I don't mind. Time lapse anyway, you know, from the back. But anyway, uh, he gave me $40 for the bracket. Um, he's setting up his plow for his brother or something like that. So very cool. I'm going to head on home now and we're going to do that unboxing. Hey, so I'm over here at my friend Andy the Brit's house. I guess he's my friend, but he's my next door neighbor uh, across the street, you know. He comes and chats with me every day as I uh, do my videos. So I'm just putting this bag together, see. I've already taken the mower out of the box and it was just easy. Just take the mower out of the box. There's nothing to assemble, okay. I haven't done anything yet other than take it out of the box. So this is a Honda HRN lawnmower. 2020 HRN 216 VKAA Victor Kilo Alpha Alpha that's the military terms if you did it through the NYPD uh, way it would be uh, <laughs> Victor Kilo Alpha Alpha <laughs> yeah, and this is kind of hard to put together to be honest with you everything is very stiff you know and brand new it's nice and tight though you want it nice and tight see so um the bagger has these things that you got to put on here and uh he paid four hundred dollars for this four hundred dollars I don't think I've ever spent $400 on a push mower before. Uh, the only thing I've spent on a lawnmower is uh, $550 for my Black Beauty back in 2001 from Home Depot. It was a floor demo model. And I says to the store manager of the uh, Home Depot, I says, hey, how about I take that model for $550, no tax, and you deliver it to me for free. And the guy goes, well, I don't know. That's a lot of money right over there. I says, nobody's gonna buy that thing, man. It's the end of the season. You got a buyer right here, ready to give you like 98% of what you want for it. It's like, okay, okay. No tax, free delivery. Boom, 550. I've had that Black Beauty since 2001. Great machine. It's over at my mom's house, as you, some of you uh, big time followers know. So anyway. Big bag, big opening, you know what I'm saying? However, it is, it, is, it does stop like right here, you know what I mean? So even though the bag is nice and wide, right? It's not very deep, you know what I mean? I know you know what I mean. Anyway, so here's the bagger. Here's some uh, 10W30 Earl from Honda, 12 fluid ounces. So I don't know about these new machines, but it probably takes about, it, the old machines take about 10, 10 ounces. So 12 ounces, maybe, give or take, that'll be good. All right, all right, all right, I'll get going, I'll get going. Calm down. So here it is, are you guys ready? I'm trying the magnetic mount, it's pretty good. Okay, here it is. We just took it out of the box. Andy doesn't want to be on camera. There it is right there, man. HRN 216 VKAA. I'll take you off the pedestal. You can check this out closer. How about that, huh? It's got a GCV 170 engine on it. Man, oh man, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Just beautiful. Black wheels. Rubber tread. 
which is good because they're usually plastic. This is plastic. So the finish over here is very interesting. You know what? Okay, so this is this is plastic, just a cover. This almost feels galvanized, you know? It's got some kind of a textured coating on it. It's got this handle here, uh, smart drive control. I've seen this before. This is actually kind of old. I think you would uh, move this so you'd be able to turn it, like the safety switch. Valve cover. There's the uh, air filter cover. The uh, front height adjustment for the front. First of all, this is very low, as you can tell. It's like a half inch off the ground. Ooh, look at this. The lever here for clip director. Bag mulch so i figured if you if you move this to mulch it closes like a flap got a fuel shut off over here as most hondas do as you can see no gas up gas like that here's the back height adjuster it is at the lowest setting we're gonna put this to three. Three is the normal one for me at least. Here's the back door. <laughs> back door. There's the hole. There's the tow guard. I call it a tow guard because it's there to, basically if you pull the thing back, you don't run over your toes and get your toes sliced off, right? So that's a tow guard. Pretty straightforward. No height adjusters on this side. Everything's on the left-hand side. Gas cap is the kind that clicks, I believe. As you can see, bone dry, brand new. Let's see if it clicks when you turn it. Yes, it does. Like a car. You put the Earl in here. Henry, you're a genius. Shut up. Muffler. Wow. The muffler casing is plastic. Or maybe very thin steel. It would have to be steel because if it was plastic, it would melt, you know? But, but it feels like plastic, though. Anyway, beautiful machines. You can tell uh, this is different. It's from the different engine cover cowling. You know, this, this shape of it almost looks like one of those older Briggs on Pulsar Jet engines, you know? Very sharp, very cool. You could tell by the quality. It looks really nice. You see the texture I was talking about on the coating of the paint? Looks very nice. All right, that's the overview. All right, I want to see about this mulch bag lever here. Aha! Uh -huh. It's kind of stiff, I, I won't lie. Here, I want to show you guys. Can you see that? So look, look right over here. When I take the bag lever to the mulch area, it has a door that seals it off. Cool. put the handle up, it came shipped just like that. So you can do a height, right? Different heights. This, this just clipped right in. You can turn this like that so that it free moves. Then if you turn it this way, horizontal, it clicks into place. So that's the highest setting for somebody like me who's only 5'7", right? That feels pretty good, but I think because Andy's like 6'1 or something like that, so he'll probably want a little bit higher. Blade control and smart control. I guess you don't have to, you don't have to engage the safety button. And I wonder what's the point of the sliding safety button if you can just push it with your hands anyway. You know? 
safety button doesn't seem to work. Anyway, here are the instructions, right? Get out of here! We don't need instructions! What do you need instruct? Well, you know what? We do have to see about how many ounces of that oil do you put in here, you know? There's really nothing to it. I mean, out of the box, it came just like that. You just uh, put the handles on. Oh, height adjustment. So let's put, let's put it to three. Let's put the height adjustment to three. So that one lever over here controls the entire rear. One lever over here, the entire front. So you know what? Three seems kind of high. Doesn't that seem kind of high to you? Let's put it down a two and see. Very smooth. You know what? That looks pretty good. But I don't want to scalp his lawn. I don't know how, how high he likes it. But anyway, so we're getting ready to put the bag on. And uh, should we try it with the bag or mulch? See, that's what you do have to remember, though, because let's say you put the bag on, right? And you have it on mulch. <laughs> It's still gonna mulch, you know what I mean? You're gonna wonder why there's no grass in the bag. So you have to remember to, to do the lever, you know? So uh, I guess let me read this real quick uh, and find how, mu how much oil you put in. I wanna make sure we put in the right amount. Like I said, the bottle is 12 ounces. We'll see exactly how much we put in there. I wanted to show you guys how that thing works there. So Andy's got this uh, door open, right? And you could actually lift up on this thing. So look. That's how the door opens and closes, okay? So when you're mulching, that's closed. When you want to use the bag, that's open, right? So Andy wants to mulch, so let's keep this closed. I won't even put the bag on, okay? So uh, looking through the instructions, it actually says approximately 12 to 13 and a half ounces is required. So we're just going to dump this entire jug in there. Hey. So I've got my magnetic... GoPro frame magnetized on the mower itself. So I know that this deck is steel, even though it doesn't look steel. It looks aluminum. So I'm just gonna dump the entire jug in here, 12 ounces. First lubrication, mmm, yummy. So like I said, this one asks you to put SAE 10W30 in it, which is equivalent to the same thing that Kohler asks you to do for their at least lawn tractor engines, whether it be their Kohler commands, Kohler Courage single cylinder, they always want you to put 10W30. And 10W30, if when you look at the universal um, guide, if you will, it uh, encompasses freezing weather and hot weather as well. So that's why it's more of a universal uh, weight oil. Or like Henry at Mowers and Blowers says, Earl. So we got the whole 12 ounces in here, all right? This is the uh, OEM Honda Earl. We've got that done. So uh, we've got the setting set to where Andy likes it. Uh, we put it a little higher here. Put the oil in. And this thing over here, so we figured this out, right? So if you wanted your thumb to be here to engage, it's easier. But then if you push this this way and move it and then let go, it stays there. So that if your thumb is more comfortable just doing that, you know what I mean? That, that I think is good. So now we're just gonna put some gassage in here. Look what I found. There's a little, there's a little doggy here. Hi, Bella. Hi, hi. Oh, did you want to see me start it? Oh my God. So now we're gonna put some gassage in here. I don't know how to use this uh, contraption here. Uh huh. Cool. I hope Andy has some good gas in here, in his new mower. Look at that, look at that. Not even one drop of a drip. Awesome. 
As I said, this gas cap is the kind like a car. When it clicks, you know it's sealed. Guess what? Now we get to run it. So the lever's on mulch. Grass is not gonna fly out. We're gonna leave the bag off. We got gas in here. We put the entire contents of that 10W30 Earl in there, right? We put gas in here. The fuel shutoff is off. So now the uh, fuel is flowing, see? So you know what, man? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start it. First start, brand new mower. <laughs> Boom! All right, here we go. That's pretty impressive, man. First pull, you know what I'm saying? You know, first pull, first start, right out of the box. You know what I mean? Let's just put the bag on just to see how it looks. It's not gonna work anyway, because we got the mulch lever on. So there it is. There is your brand new 2020 Honda HRN 216 VKAA lawnmower. And he paid $409.99 over at our local Home Depot. <clears throat> the two-year extended warranty plan was $35. He passed. And actually, $35 doesn't seem too much, especially for two years, because that's only like $17.5 per year, right? If anything goes wrong with it, you don't have to worry. But I believe this has a standard warranty with it also, you know? Uh, very nice-looking mower. The difference, obviously, is the texture of the coating of the deck, which is different, right? The, uh, I mean, I don't know Hondas too much. I've had a bunch of them in my life, but they've, they've always been a pain in the ass to work on. But uh, I just hope nothing happens to this mower because the labor involved in these over-engineered Honda machines is a nightmare, man. Oh, my God, a nightmare. Oh, my God, what a fucking nightmare. And of course, the top engine cowling is different too, you know? It looks really nice. Like I said, it <laughs> kind of looks like a Briggs & Stratton Pulsa Jet mower, you know what I mean? You notice that they're taking a page out of Jason Pate's, of Pate's performance uh, book. He loves to paint the wheels black because it looks meaner. I tend to agree. The wheels do look very, very mean. The whole mower looks very mean with the black wheels. I'm impressed with these rubber wheels though, the rubber tires. That's very cool. Uh, I think Andy's inside having breakfast. I think I should go get him and let him try it out on the lawn. So now we're gonna start it again on his lawn, right? And I'm gonna use the self propulsion until I didn't show you that yet. So here we go. So it's like a personal pace, right? If you, if you use your thumbs and pull it down just a little bit, right, it'll go slow. If you want it to go faster, you pull it all the way down. So this is even better than a Toro recycler personal pace. For the personal pace, you don't really have so much control about how much pressure you put downwards, you know what I mean? 
you could just like slip and then push it down too much and it'll take off, you know what I mean? This one you have complete control with your thumbs. You don't need to use both, you can just use one, left-handed or right-handed. So very, very cool feature. Um, it runs great, I love it. Maybe I'll buy one. No, I'm not gonna buy one. So there's my unboxing and review and assembly and preparation of the new Honda lawnmower. I am a little jealous. I would like one of these too. But, as you know, I don't need to go buy new ever. Thanks for following me on this unboxing of this new Honda lawnmower. Good luck to Andy on it. We'll see him use it in a little while in our bonus footage section. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. So this is Andy's old mower. Like I said, the complaint was that it doesn't self-propel anymore. Let's just, for, for the hell of it, just give it a try. My magnetic GoPro base. Self-propulsion does not work. I have a feeling maybe the belt's just off of the thing. It's funny, he said he had this machine for 17 years, right? And he's never given it an oil change. <laughs> Come on, man. The hell? Unbelievable. This is so difficult to remove. There we go. Uh huh. Look at that. The belt has come off of the pulley. That is it. So it starts no problem. I might have to en engage it. You engage it, it's like tighter, see? Start it up now and see if it works. There we go. Easy peasy. It's a uh, fixerino there. I wonder if Andy wants it back now. <laughs> All right, it'll be here for a while because. I don't anticipate any sales in the near future for this stuff. Um, next thing I'm going to do is uh, I could fix the uh, recoil starter by putting a new rope in here. But you know what? I actually have another recoil starter. I could just replace it real quick. Right?
probably never been taken apart before. 17 years. He bought this brand new. Okay, let me go and take this to the back because the Briggs and Stratton quantum uh, cowlings have different patterns here, you know, for auto choke types and uh, for non auto choke types. This is a uh, primer bulb type, see? So I'm gonna go take this to the back. I've got a bunch of them. Hopefully one of them has a has one that has a good rope in it and just replace it two seconds, you know what I mean? That's what we'll do. I wasn't gonna work on this today, but it seems easy enough. Remind me to put the pull thing through here. So I went back there. I had about seven of these, all right, for quantum engines. This was the only one that had the identical pattern over here, you know? Identical! Identical. This doesn't pull as smooth as the original one. I mean, it's smooth, but it could be smoother, you know? So I'm using a little bit of Toolbox Buddy from my friends over at Lucas Oil Products. This is just like WD-40, except the Lucas Oil brand. So I'm just uh, coating the little holes around here so that I can get some of this lubricant to where the coil is. And that helps it slide a little better, you know? Like right around there. It'll just seep through into the area. And it'll help it go better, roll better. Looks like we're gonna be able to do a really easy fix on this thing today, you know? Ready to go. I bet you Andy would be like, that seems like it's quite easy to repair. So, just a little bit of a super clean spray just to get the grease off, just so you can take a nice picture, you know what I'm saying? Just put the belt back onto the pulley again for the self-propulsion, right? Change the recoil starter so that the rope is nice and uh, solid, right? Also grease the reels, and uh, everything else is fine. Starts up just fine, works just fine. Uh, it is a little dirty and old, you know what I mean? Um, so I will list it for like, 125, maybe 150, right? And then settle for 125. That's what I'll do. But I don't think anybody's gonna buy anything. Next time on Amores and Blowers.